Hello, good morning. My name is Ben, Rescue Germany. Happy welcome to the Micro Soaring Show. And today I think we have one of the last videos or perhaps the last video in the old building. It looks like shit. We have a lot of stuff flying around the rooms and um, I'm pretty happy to get into the new rooms, to the new building within the next, I think, four weeks. So we already started to move something uh, from the storage rooms and uh, we have we have already something there so it will be great so today in the morning we start with a galaxy s7 samsung galaxy s7 logic board which was mailed in from another company because the board looks like that and they need like they say the important data out of this board okay it looks it looks really hard okay so let's see if we can get that for that, I already prepared a swap board for the Galaxy S7 and I already prepared a swap RAM. I only need to reball it. And um, yeah, so let's start by just doing that job. We go straight to the on-hands camera and we start by having a look at this board. So it doesn't boot anymore at all. We have a crack here, so the board is cracked. We have a crack here and we have a hard band here. So it doesn't make any sense um, to search for a way to get this board back to life. So the only possibility we have in this situation is just to swap the CPU and the UFS um, to another board. We need the RAM for boot, so I already prepared one. So we could use that too, but we have to rework it uh, anyway like the other parts and just for saving time in the video I already prepared another rum which i always use for my galaxy s7 swaps so if you're doing a lot of bot swap bot swap work it's like you need to have you need to have a lot of boards there and you, you need to have things like rum and and things like that at your side okay i just take off the clue sticker and by the way, at the moment, I'm really not not much time. I, I don't spend not, uh, much time here at the company because mostly I'm outside on uh, helping for the move of the company. So it's just like I, 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 I spend some time here, but only for important cases like CPU works and the rest of the work um, my workers do. And they do it good so thanks at this point to my workers that they just do that shit for me okay so removed the shields now it's all about this hole is really ugly now it's all about fixing the screw and after that it's all about taking off CPU and the UFS. Let's start by the CPU. We go straight under the microscope. And I'm really happy to show you the new building within the next weeks. And you will say, wow, what's that? It's complete other complete other thing than the small rooms here. It's just like crazy. Okay, let's start. So I use hot air. <clears throat> Just to lift up the CPU. And I circle with the air. And always think that this board takes a lot of heat and the CPU with the RAM is really big. It's not thin. So you have to use a lot of heat to melt the solder under the CPU. And you see the first bolts coming out. But it's still like it's still like really 
you need a lot of feet and a lot of time And here we are. Lifted up the CPU. Looks good. Take CPU here. And now just lift up the UFS storage chip. Like that. Good too. Okay. I don't care about the small parts which are coming with. So and now it's all about cleaning the CPU. Cleaning the bottom side. Then separate the RAM from the CPU. Cleaning the RAM side. Prepare the RAM side of the CPU and then um, clean the storage chip. That's not a big thing. So we clean the CPU side, the bottom side of the CPU. Just by using some wick and our solder iron. Smells like cancer. And really a lot of people wrote me on social media why I only show CPU works over the last year. And it's like because so many people mail devices in with these faults. And if I do jobs here in the company, I always do the jobs which I have to do in the company, okay? So, Andy has other special skills and David has other uh, special skill and Ilya too. So everybody does the work he needs to do because it's that what people mail us for repair data recovery. So, and in my case, it's mostly sandwich boards or CPU works or sandwich boards with CPU issues so and if I get data recoveries like that the only option is to swap the logic board so I have to do again what I do every day I have to work on CPU but Last times, really, the last weeks, I'm not much here. And if I'm here, it's early in the morning. And I just do my, my jobs and up and then began to the new building and helping, 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 controlling, have a look that all works like I want. And yeah, that's 
that's just struggle at the moment and I'm really happy to move with the company soon so I can do what I love again micro soldering micro soldering micro soldering micro soldering fixing boards and saving data for people So, separated the RAM from the CPU. Just take a picture for Instagram. Done. And now we clean the RAM side of the CPU. And this on the S7 can take time <coughs> because the clue is a bitch. Sometimes fast, sometimes not fast. It's like on the iPhone 6S. And on the iPhone 6, but I like them iPhone CPUs more because the clue is better than here. And the seats are just feeling feeling better. Like you see, I take a ball of solder and I go around, 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 around. Okay, now I need a brush and some contact cleaner. Go over it, take a fresh wipe contact cleaner and go over it. Okay, and now we see here all is really clean and in this area and here on the top we have some clue. So it's all about cleaning that clue. Because if we reball that RAM side of the CPU and there is clue, it's not good. It won't get, get a good result then. So, okay, need a fresh plate. Gently, gently, only, only the clue. And I give you a little hint, have a look. 
that you don't get the clue into the holes because otherwise you can take it out later and the reboot is harder. The clue here in the middle it's just like optical reasons so I won't do anything at this time because I want to go fast and so it's okay for me. So the only thing I take away is this here and it's optical reason too. So it's not needed. Now I clean the side one time again and then I add some flux, uh, some paste, sorry, not flux, paste. Scraping away the glue on the sides. Taking a wipe. Table cleaning. Going down. Having a look. Okay. We see some rests of glue. Here. Here. What about that seat here? Okay, L let us give it a try and just reball it. Just reboot it. And people ask me why you take your fingers, it's not good for your health and yeah. I do it for years until now. Nothing happened to me. Perhaps I think I think in the other way if something happens, but I never had any issues, okay? So I worked uh, back in the days I worked a lot on my cars and I really restorated cars like taking out the engine and everything. So I just had the cabin of the car and I always worked without uh, anything on my hands. So they were really ugly and nothing happened to me, never. So, okay, let us have a look at this beautiful CPU. Looks pretty okay. So now it's time for reboot. Okay. Some flux. And done. Wait a short time for cooling down, then clean, then we reball the bottom side of the CPU.
Oh yeah, this looks pretty good. Okay, clean here. And for a better look, take a wide background. Like that. What do you think? Give me some comments. What do you think about this RAM reball on this S7? Is it okay? Or is it not okay? I think this looks pretty good. Just a picture. I love these pictures. Controlling the areas. And yeah. I think it looks good or not. Good. Let's go to the bottom side. We have to clean something here. I think this looks good too. Now we need a stencil for doing the next step. Could work with that one. Okay, some pressure there. Good. And having a look. Four. Yeah, looks okay, I think. Now we need what we need to paste. 183, no low melt. And we can reboil the CPU side, then we can reboil the RAM side with one a, uh, 138 uh, low melt. And after that, it's time for cleaning the storage chip and give it a reboil with 183. This looks good, I think. I take a fresh wipe again and just clean one time. Now I need tweezers. My red ones are fucked up again, like you see. And I need hot air. Setting up the rebolt temperature and airflow. CPUs, it's just like you need a little feeling for getting all the bolts sitting down. Okay, done. Wait a short time. It's one. 83 so normally it's fast okay 
melt it down fast. We add some flux like this. And we use some air. Some more flux here in this area. And I think this looks good. And as you can see, all the bolts are same sized. Great. So we put that down here. Then we take a rum, a known good rum, which I have already cleaned, just to save some time. And because I know the rum is fine, so going on like that. Okay, take a wipe again. Going over through. Tweezers, hot air. And done. Wait a short time. It's 138, so it's low melt. And um, yeah, it takes some more time for cooling down. Okay, looks good like this. Adding some flux in the middle. this it's okay some more here waiting a short time while that I already clean the storage chip around by using the knife just cutting the clue away the ugly smelling clue and then get the chip to the board holder And what about, do we have some dirt here? Yes, we have. Now it's away, okay. So I add the run here. And I just add some flux on here. Take some solar wick and some paste. Okay. 
smells ugly. Clean, clean, clean. And you see it like that. That's pretty okay. And we need stencil. Like this one. 183 paste. Well, did I move the stencil now over the storage chip? I don't know. I hope that it didn't move. Done. Take a wipe. Going over through, lift up the stencil. Having a look. Adding some flux. Reflow. Let them both reset. Add some flux here and here. So that you see, surface has been coated by flux. Now I add the chip here. I take a quick photo. And now it's all about sitting damn chips onto the new board. Okay. Taking the picture. Okay. And we start with the storage chip. Okay. So, it's like, okay, you see we have some clue, still some clue on, so we cut that clue away, and we add the chip like this, okay? Now we need a nozzle, a nozzle nozzle, a chisel my nizzle. And we need our soaring temperature on the hot air. So Okay, done. Now it's all about having a look that the surface is clean here. Then taking the CPU, taking a quick shot like this. Then, having a look for the A1 on the right bottom side, like this, placing the CPU here, we 
should be okay like this and solder it down And it's like always on my CPU works. I wait until the flux comes out at the sides. Do we have enough flux on here? Yes, I see some something is bubbling already. And as you can see flux comes out at the sides okay great wait a short time so you can add some flux on here and on here just for getting a better look on the balls boomy but it's not necessary, it was just for optical reason, okay? So, normally I would directly sit the RAM on, but I want to show you the bolts here on the CPU. As you can see, they are good. Now I clean one time the surface and just take a quick shot. But that's only for Instagram, so not necessary. And now it's all about sitting that RAM onto the board. That RAM onto the board. A1 the right bottom side placing that RAM here needs to be placed in the best way perfectly so no move perhaps something or, or some little move but you have the lowest risk if, if you place it 100% perfect. So you can give the hot air onto and it can directly connect to the RAM side of the CPU. Here it moved just a little bit. Now we wait a short time and I already have a look for a screen, for a screen. Do I have a screen here? I hope, I hope that I have one. What is S7? We will have a look. Okay, can you see them bolts here? Okay, it's sandwiched and I let it stay like that and I just have a look for a screen okay
Okay, I got a screen. Screen. Now we need to connect a battery. A battery. Here is the power plug. And here we have the battery plug, but I don't know which direction which direction for the battery for the battery which is the direction let me let me have a look so here we got another S7 board let me check it output okay I hope we have the right direction is it like that Should be the right one, like this. And here we got the plug. So let's see for the value. And this is a boot. This is a boot. Okay. So we go straight to the on hands camera. And we take screen. We take a screen like come on baby screen like this and we need to activate that yes it's okay oh yeah okay we need to go to the on hands camera like I said okay and now it's like Having a look, these both should be, and boom, back to life again. Samsung Galaxy S7 CPU swap, flash storage swap, and um, RAM swap. Okay, I don't know if there are any important personal data on the lock screen, so let me see. So let me see. Okay, still the Samsung logo. But the phone boots perfectly, the value is fine. You can see. You can see the swapped components. Here. You can see the swapped components, still Samsung logo. But within the next, it's an old, old model, Galaxy S7. So just give it, give it a second for complete the boot. So you can still see the Samsung logo. So not a problem. And here we are again. Okay, I go directly to the, to that one. One second. Oh, your, tele uh, your phone is, okay, but the touch works here, you can see. Here you can see touch works phone works and yeah we got the important data out of this phone so I just deactivate that activate again and still boot up again oh it's like the cable is fucking so and again here we are okay Samsung Galaxy S7 sandwich CPU RAM sandwiched onto the board onto the CPU and um, we just uh, did the job we have to do we uh, took out the CPU with the RAM we took out the UFS flash storage space and uh, then we separated the RAM from the CPU have a look at the video I would be very happy happy if you would subscribe the channel give me a thumbs up 
comment so just uh, uh, give me some comments under the video i would be very happy if you would uh, uh, join to fixdesk it's an all-in-one repair management software developed in our house over the last two years so it's an amazing thing and i would be very happy if you would buy an icc pro a tool which in my opinion every technician in this world needs so and the last thing i would be very happy to see you at our facebook group smartphone repair group germany search on facebook answer the questions and um, then we will accept you okay if you need a um, daily recovery job no problem go to rescue-repair.com and um, uh, we will help you okay within the next days our new website international english and German goes online so you can easy set up devices from all over the world. I'm out and I wish you a nice day. Uh, see you with the next video in the new company building. So this is the last video in the old building. I'm out. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Here's Ben.